Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is a really interesting day because many of you maybe think that I talk about nothing all the time, but today I'm going to be talking about nothing all the time because today's lesson is at least half about nothing and specifically how nothing can cause problems in our Java programs. This is a really interesting story um, that goes to some really interesting historical decisions that were made as part of the Java programming language. But it's also a place where we can get into a lot of trouble because it turns out that nothing can actually cause a lot of problems with our code. So the first half of today's lesson, we're gonna talk about nothing. Specifically, we're gonna talk about a special value in Java called null that can be used to initialize objects. And that null value or that nothing value can turn around and cause lots of problems with our code when it runs. So we'll look into what can happen and how to avoid those problems. And that's something that we're gonna be continuing to do throughout the rest of the semester. Avoiding problems with null is not particularly complicated. It just requires attention to detail and that you get into some good habits. So we're gonna start helping you with that today. The second half of the lesson, we're going to do another string algorithm. Uh, so we'll do um, a longish walkthrough of a new, uh, another string algorithm, one that we haven't done before, and then we'll introduce some new ideas into our code. So hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Keep in mind, we're all in this together. You are not alone. And uh, even if today is all about nothing, there is you know, something really exciting here for you in computer science. 